Hi, welcome to the channel. This video is going to go through what I received from Fisher with my tailplane kit and I'm going to go through the building of the uh, tailplane spa. Uh, this is not an instructional video but you may get some hints and tips for how to do things when you build your own aircraft to do follow their instructions. So without wasting any more time, let's crack on with the video. Survived, so I'm excited. Here is the Fisher Tail Kit in all its glory. Lots of pieces of strip wood, all labelled up with uh, tags on. And I've been through checking the plans. As you can see, uh, this is just the assembly plan, but there are two large sheets uh, which show the things in full size. It came with uh, a set of resin, the uh, T88. Uh, I opted uh, to talk to Dave uh, Hurtner and asked not to have the covering option which would normally come. And uh, he offered me the Oratex because that's what I'm going to cover the aircraft with. But I, I declined that because I don't know how long it's going to be before I'm going to be covering and I haven't fully decided on a colour scheme. If I actually go on with the uh, Fisher Youngster. But, as of this moment in time, I am impressed with what's arrived, the quality of the wood. There are no instructions. Uh, this is uh, an aircraft you are building purely from plan, so experience. And uh, there was no itemised list of components. So I had to go through the plans and check off what was needed and where it was going to go and make sure I had those components included. So I don't know how well this uh, sort of shows up really on the video side, but uh, this is a sort of the assembly uh, drawing for the tailplane, and uh, there, there are some instructions uh, giving you know, giving you how things go, uh, itemised drawings for small constructional items, uh, and the little bits of the assembly that go on. There's a couple of patterns involved on here and uh, there's some components which are needed for uh, later type assembly and of course you know, we've just got the tail kit uh, we've got no uh, no way that we're going to be setting up the range of controls there's no uh, metal hardware that was included with this uh, at this stage it comes as part of the full aircraft so I haven't got any of the hinges all the horns all the material to make horns or anything like that So uh, looking at uh, the wood material, uh, lots of spruce, lots of strip wood uh, and it's all labelled and these labelled marks which are on here uh, refer to various parts on uh, the, the plans. So from what I've got so far, if it's got a W on it, it's for the tail plane. And if it's got an F on it, it's to do with the, uh, the vertical fin and rudder. And we've got good quality uh, plywood, uh, strips for doing uh, the gussets and closure panels. And the, uh, the spars for the tailplane come slightly shorter. It reduces the shipping cost by a huge amount. They've been uh, cut. Uh, for a sort of scarf joint because you need to scarf them together to get them to full length. As I said earlier in the video there's a requirement for scarf joints. Uh, this has been done by Fisher for keeping the price down for posting this particular kit and to practice the skills required for things like longerons on the, the fuselage. So uh, for us in the UK it's a 1 in 10 to 1 in 12 taper and as this is three quarters of an inch thick then really we'd be wanting to have at least a seven and a half inch uh, length of scarf 
and this is six and a quarter so we'll go ahead and I'll show you how I do my scarf tapers so just a quick look at the uh, jig which I use uh, that's the taper bed which I can set at different angles as you can see here I can set that to different tapers uh, the piece of wood lies on here it's clamped and clamped down to it it's just basically a box designed so it actually is at a tilt so that's pretty much level and then we've just got a guard here to run the router along so the router bit basically just goes along this edge I'll start this end and I'll work that way uh, and I'll do it in uh, more than one cut if necessary I don't want to take off too much material at once so I'll just set a height to start off with and do a couple of passes. High protection always required. <laughs> There we have one scarf joint. Right then, so scarfing is uh, done. I've mixed up some resin. I can see why uh, people put it on with a stick. This is too thick, this resin, to be able to be applied with a brush. It's uh, Distinctly loopy, one might say. Anyway, I will uh, go into time lapse now while I do this. So this is where things uh, I do things possibly slightly different to other people. I've got this edge here which is uh, holding everything straight. I've got uh, and normally I would sandwich this a scarf joint between two straight edges um, in a slightly different format that, that both normally be um, a removed item but in this case I'm using one of the uh, doublers as the straight edge so I'm just going to clamp across make sure that uh, my lines align going straight across there I'm just making sure everything is Flat on the bench. Chair out of the way. So clamp, clamp.
Right, and as you can see, uh, I've clamped this up, just making sure everything is level, the same height, the joint is at the same height. Uh, I'm getting squeezed out all the way along, so I know I've got enough glue in the joint. And I'm just going to wipe off the excess with some uh, denatured alcohol. Let's see what we've got. Uh, seems to be uh, a reasonable joint. bit of a no void there it's just uh, the, the resin sunk slightly as you can sort of see I clamp either side of the scarf joint I don't actually clamp on the scarf joint let's see what happens when we get these clamps off if it were released there we go Oh, just a little bit of resin underneath. You can still see the sort of resin marks there. Where it sort of oozed out a bit. But uh, yeah, all in all, not a bad job. So, task to do, task done. In the next episode, I will be looking at uh, creating the laminated leading edge of the tail plane so hopefully that will be good thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up you can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can remember go fly and feel the sky